And here we go. Okay, guys, this is Maurice the Great from MauriceTheGreat.com with another podcast. And in today's podcast, we're going to be talking about Instagram. Okay, Instagram is one of the top internet apps because it's actually not a website. Even though you can see Instagram on your computer or tablet, it's actually an app that you download from either the iPhone store or the Google Play store. Okay, so in this particular video, we're going to go over ways to get more Instagram followers. Uh, We're going to go over what the hashtags are and what that does. We're going to go over how to use a page to market. Okay, here we go. Okay, I took an example. This is not one of my pages. I just look for a random, clean Instagram page with someone marketing. So whoever owns this pizza underscore wars and this pizza wars dot TV, this person is marketing. Okay, and looks like what they do is post pictures of pizza and food. So I guess they're in the food niche. They have 625 followers and they're only following 19 people, which is a very good ratio. Okay, so I'm going to go over 10 ways you can get more followers for your Instagram page. Now, before we go over that, let's talk about what kind of page should you make. Now, we're not talking about your personal uh, and friends and family page. If you want to market on Instagram, you have to come up with what I call niche Instagram pages, which this pizza uh, page is a prime example of someone who probably like pizza and they want to be able to monetize that like. So that's what they did. They came out with an Instagram page with nothing but pictures of pizza. And since everybody loves pizza, they decided to monetize it. Okay, so that's what you want to do. If you like the uh, L.A. Lakers, you'd make a L.A. Laker fan page. Or if you like to cook, you'd make a cooking page. Depending on what your niche is, that's what your page is going to be about. Okay, so we're going to go over 11 quick ways to get more followers to your page. Okay, so what you want to do is what they call cross-promote your dedicated hashtag. So I would assume that this particular page hashtag is hashtag Peace of Wars. So what they're going to do every time they post anywhere, either whether it be YouTube, Facebook, Google, emails, articles, they're going to use that hashtag. And they're going to make sure it's on their profile, which they don't have it on their profile. They probably need to do that. And uh, maybe even print it on printing, printing materials such as keychains or t-shirts to get that hashtag popular, to capture their hashtag. So you want to create your either your own hashtag or hashtag related to your niche. Okay. Number two, you also want to be very creative with hashtags. A lot of people copy hashtags. So again, an example with this piece of wars, I would assume that they would use pizza, pizza lovers, foodie, and all of this. But sometimes you can create and, and come up with your own hashtags. So with you being original and you posting your own original hashtag on Instagram in comments, then people click that hashtag and only your pictures will show up. Particip- number three, participate in popular conversations so if you want to get more followers to your Instagram page you need to follow pages that have a lot of followers okay so what you want to do is um, if you see a post that's getting traction on their page go ahead and post your opinion on that page so people can see your um, profile picture and see your Instagram page listed in the comments because a lot of people believe it or not a lot of people lurk on Instagram and they just like to read they don't post they just read and then they follow people so you'll get followers like that number four make the most of your bio URL okay since Instagram really don't like hyperlinks that much so you get one chance to put a hyperlink on your Instagram page and that's right there in your bio so that bio hyperlink is what you call prime real estate so you want to make the most of that so again with the example of this piece awards page it looks like they bought a domain name to match their Instagram page and they call it peaceawards.tv okay so whoever made this page 
I guess they're following the rules basically to a T. Okay, number five, get descriptive with your captions. See, a lot of us get lazy. So when you uh, post a picture and you make a caption, go ahead and get into detail. Get people something to read. Make it interesting. Okay? There's so many people on Instagram that you never know who could stumble upon your page. So you want to make sure that it looks professional and that you proofread everything that you write in your descriptions and captions. Now, number six is what they call go all in on influencer marketing. Okay? And what that means is you'll find somebody within your niche. Okay? And you will pay them to make a post on their page asking people to follow you or you guys could do what they call a shout for a shout and a shout for a shout is when you put their picture on your page and shout them out and they put their picture on your page on their page and shout you out so that's inf that's called influencer marketing number seven remove unwanted tagged photos of you from your profile like when people tag you it'll show up on your profile so what you want to do is always uh, what I call look through your profile, make sure that your page has a good reputation, make sure people not uh, posting negative stuff in the comments or, or using profanity. So we want to keep it clean and make sure that we follow all the rules of Instagram because if they lock up your page, you can't never get it back. Okay, so that's, uh, let me see, number nine, develop your own Instagram style. Okay, again this uh example of the peace awards instagram page they came up with their own style i guess their style is they know that everybody like pizza so when i looked at this page they had a lot of pictures of pizza pieces being made uh they use different hashtags on each post it's a very good page and i probably think that this page will grow pretty big okay get number 10 get local even though instagram is a global um, platform sometimes you want to put your location in your uh, on your pictures because when people push that location even if they're on somebody else's page you will show up in the search results so just say for example you're in New York City and you put your location then Joe Blow he put that in his location but somebody clicked on that to see everybody in that location boom your page will pop up so that'll get you followers also Okay, always have, number 11, always have a call to action. Okay, in your Instagram post, you want to tell people to follow you or click the link in the bio. Okay, you want to give them directions. A lot of people like to be told what to do. So if you're marketing on um, Instagram, you want to give them directions on what to do. Okay, so in part two, we're going to go over how to market okay guys so let's get into the types of campaigns you can run on instagram okay the way instagram is set up it doesn't matter what type of business that you run you can benefit from having a page on instagram so no matter if you run a cpa network uh, campaign or you could do e-commerce sales on instagram you can do big ticket items on instagram you could do email submits. So it's all kind of things you could run on Instagram. You could you could just uh, sell shout outs. Uh, you can sell posts. So it's a very good thing to market on Instagram. Now let's take for example what this page right here, Peace Awards. What are they doing? When I, I went, when I visited this page, I actually clicked on a link that says peaceawards.tv and it took me to a email zip form where they wanted my email address. So I went ahead and put it in and once I put it in, it took me to a survey site. Okay, so what this person is doing, they're promoting a survey site with a angle of Peace Awards. So the biggest way to take advantage of Instagram marketing is to have a clickable link in your bio okay and your clickable link uh, best practice would be to have it match your domain name 
sort of sort of the way this person does theirs so you want to make sure that your domain name and your instagram name matches up depending on what you're selling okay now you always want to do a call to action if we look at this example page they have a get a free piece of gift card in the bio with an arrow pointing at the link so I'm quite sure even though they don't have a ton of followers right now people are clicking on that link and they're going through a, what you call a funnel okay so marketing on Instagram is, is, is the number one way for uh, affiliates to market nowadays you can uh, brand yourself like uh, maybe Alex Becker or Grant Cardone does where you just give out tips me personally I have a few Instagram pages but they're mainly for e-commerce and uh, Clickbank okay so I do use Instagram for Clickbank I don't have a personal Instagram page yet and I was thinking about doing one but I'm not sure I'm more of a private person okay so that's gonna conclude this video about Instagram affiliate tips and marketing on Instagram if you have any questions about any of this please leave your questions in the links and in the comments below okay if you're not a subscriber this is your first time you're at my channel please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you'll know anytime I put up a new video uh, if you like this video hit the like button if you want to share this on your social media pages feel free to do so thank you for watching this is Maurice the Great from MauriceTheGreat.com don't forget to visit my website below so you can see the webinar that my friend put together on internet affiliate marketing thanks and have a very productive day